How's it going? Dave here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a really easy mixolydian sound just by changing one note of your standard pentatonic scale. Now, if you want some extra resources such as PDFs for all the tabs and a backing track of what I played over in today's video, then head down to my Patreon and you can grab that there. Let's get started. So we are soloing over an A7 chord today and inside the A7 chord we've got a root, we've got a third, we've got a fifth and we've got a flat seventh. Now when there's an A7 vamp, which is what this backing track that I'm using is doing, uh, a go-to scale would be the minor pentatonic scale and because we're playing an A7 it'd be the A minor pentatonic scale. So the A minor pentatonic scale is made up of our root, a flat third, a fourth, a fifth, a flat seventh and that is the minor pentatonic scale. It is quite similar to the seven chord except we've got an added fourth and instead of a major third we've got a flat third. That flat third would usually clash with the major third inside the A7 chord but with blues we like to kind of blur the lines of major and minor and that's, that's what gives blues its bluesy kind of sound. But there's another way we can solo over the A7 chord which is more appropriate. So we can play the mixolydian scale. The mixolydian scale is root, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and flat seventh. What we can do is we can eliminate the second and the sixth and we're left with root, third, fourth, fifth, flat seventh. And as you can see that's only one note different from the minor pentatonic scale that you know and that would be the third. So we're using a major third instead of a flat third. Now that means all we have to do is change one note in our pentatonic scale to get this cool mixolydian pentatonic sound. Let's show you how to play the shape. So we're going to play 5, 9 on the low E string, 5, 7 on the A string, 5, 7 on the D string, five, uh, 6, 7 on the G string, 5, 8 on the B string and 5, 9 on the high E string. So as you can see it's very similar to the minor pentatonic scale except the 8th fret of the high E string is now the 9th fret, the 5th fret of the G string is now the 6th fret and the 8th fret of the low E string is now the 9th fret. And it's really, really super simple to create really mixolydian sounding licks because now we've got the major third and the minor seventh in a pentatonic scale, which are the two characteristic notes of our seventh chord. Now let's take a look at three different licks that I've written using the mixolydian pentatonic scale. So that first lick starts by playing the 5th fret of the D string and the 6th fret of the G string together. We're getting a tritone which is quite a dissonant interval. But then we're hammering on to the 7th fret of the D string which resolves it into kind of a major 3rd interval. Then we're just coming back to the 5th fret of the D string and playing the 7th fret of the A string but sliding up from the 5th coming back down to the 5th fret of the A string, then just ascending the scale up to that major 3rd at the 6th fret of the G string. Then we're doing this little lick. So we're bending the G string at the 7th fret up to the pitch of the 9th fret. Then playing the 5th fret of the B and E strings, playing the 9th fret of the high E string, 5th fret of the high E string, the 8th fret of the B string and then finishing up on the high E string at the 5th fret. Let's take a look at lick number 2 now. So 
So in lick number two, we're starting on our fourth, down to the third, so that's 10 to nine on the high E string. Then we're playing 10 on the B string, which is our root note. Then ascending again, nine, 10, 12. On the high E string. Then playing 10, nine again, descending, descending again, 10 on the B string. Then we're playing eight on the B string. Now, this is the flat seven, and the flat seven is the characteristic note of mixolydian. So you really wanna be targeting that note when you can. And then we're just doing this little double stop. So we're holding the ninth fret of the G string whilst we play 10 and 11 on the D string, 12, then 11 on the D string, then 12 on the A string. Like that. Then we're just ascending up the scale. From the A string, so we're playing 12 on the A string, 11 on the D string, 12 on the D string, nine on the G string, 12 on the G string, 10 on the B string, which is our root note. And then we're just doing this little double stop. So we're playing a fifth, so the 10th of the B string and the 12th of the E string. Then we're playing the 10th and the 9th of the high E string. So let's take a look at lick number three. Starting on our root note at the 10th fret of the B string, then sliding up to the 14th fret, which is our third. Then we're playing 12 on the high E string, 15 on the high E string, then the 17th fret on the high E string. Then we're doing this little double stop again. So we're playing 15th fret of the B and E strings, barring that. But then we're hammering onto the 17th fret of the B string. And then just pulling off again to that those two notes, the 15th frets on the B and E strings. Then we're playing the 18th fret of the G string. Then we're doing a little staccato descending thing. So we're playing 14 on the B on the G string, 17 on the D string, 14 on the D string, and 17 on the A string, 16 on the A string, and we're going back up again, up to the 14th fret. Then we're gonna play the 18th fret of the G string, but we're gonna slide in from the 16th fret. And then we're doing this kind of dissonant uh, minus second interval, which is present in the Mixolydian pentatonic scale, which is a really cool thing to take advantage of. So we're playing 15 on the B string and 18 on the G string. Creates a little bit of tension there, but with two notes that are diatonic and we resolve by playing the 19th fret of the D string. That creates a really nice sound. So if you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Remember there's all the shapes for the Mixolydian pentatonic scale all across the neck available down at my Patreon page, along with a backing track and tabs of the three licks as well. Let me know what you thought in the comments and let me know what you want to see in future videos in the comments also, and I'll see you in the next video.